So what makes a good x-ray source? We have technical aspects and we have economic aspects. Let's find out. All right, so what makes a good x-ray source? And that's a question I get asked quite often. There are three things, three critical parameters within the x-ray source that differentiate a good, an okay source, an excellent x-ray source. Those parameters are the following. Why? is the spot size. So what is the resolution? How fine, how small of the features in your sample can you resolve with the X-ray source? The second one is the FOD or how far the target of the X-ray source is from the object that we're trying to image. And the closer you can get the source or the location where the reflection or the transmission and the creation of X-ray photons, the closer you can get to that location, the more magnification you can achieve. And third is power, right? So it's uh, KV times MA. What is the total power of the X-ray source? The more power you have, of course, the deeper and the higher penetration and the more objects, the higher diversity of samples that you can image. So three key parameters that drive uh, how good an X-ray source is. But one of the things that I want to add to this video is that these are technical parameters that you're going to define to figure out what you need to look at your sample. If you're looking at an agent block or if you're looking at seeds, those are very different X-ray sources you need, right? Because one need a lot of KV, a lot of MA to penetrate a block of steel. The other one is the opposite. It needs very little KV, very little NA to be able to give you enough image in contrast on a very thin seed. Now, once you have that determined, the critical two parameters that we use to define what source we're gonna use in the system are reliability, and then price. And that's something that uh, experience and time in the market determined for us. We want to use source that are reliable so that they can comply with our three-year warranty. We offer three-year warranty and we don't want to be replacing sources in the field every year because that's not going to make good economic sense. And then price. We don't want to be pushing up price of the systems unnecessarily. So we have technical aspects, you have business aspects, and together we can define what's the best source for uh, your application. So I hope this was useful as usual. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to download our book where you can find this information and a bunch more. Thanks for watching.